three well-known Android browsers out there. Chrome, Firefox, Dolphin browser. Is there room for one more? There is a new browser on the block. That browser is the Puffin browser. Hello everybody, this is D Hicks. Let's get started. All right, today, like I said before in the intro, that uh, there are many browsers out there, but this was one new browser called Puffin Browser. It's uh, fast. You don't have a lot of lag in it, and it has uh, a lot of features. But one of the features it has, it has a, a mouse right here in the uh, corner here. On you don't. I, I don't think you can see it that good. It's right there. You barely can see it. And they have a game pad here, I guess, if you on sites that play games. And it has the uh, key, uh, keyboard, which you can bring up the keyboard by touching it, just like that. And the key uh, game pad looks sort of like that. If you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have to play around with it to see how it works. I haven't played around with it to see how it works. Okay. Yeah, hit the X to close it. Uh, hit close there. Okay, then you got the mouse. Let me go back to uh, CNN. Battery at 15%. Please charge soon. Okay. Uh, let me activate the mouse features. Okay, it got a trackpad. As you can see, it has a trackpad, and you you see the little mouse up there. You can also use this scroll pad. You need a little work, a little bit, but it it, it works okay. You move your mouse on a link and you just tap on it and you're right into the story and don't go beyond up it don't go up to the browser link up here it won't go that far so you you stuck with that you have to use your finger to move it back but it's a nice feature if you want to use it okay and up there at the scroll bar up here you can you can scroll between link uh, uh, pages click on the one you want okay all right let's go into settings here all right, this, as you know, can you can go to the start page. You can create a new tab. You can go out incognito. And you can add a bookmark. And you can go to your bookmarks. This is supposed to refine images on pages. And you can go to your downloads. And you can go to add-ons. Add on any particular add-on you want. You can edit the add-ons. Uh, by you can add more add-ons here. Okay, and you can add the home screen. You can share. You can bring up all the apps on your phone that you can share. Okay, you can add to home screen, you can print this screen, you can save as a PDF, or you can print it on your available printer. Okay, and if you want to offer feedback or you want to uh, give requests uh, something else they can add to the browser, you can send the feedback here. 
and if you need help with the browser you can click that uh, And also, if something wrong with your connection, you can click on Network Diagnostic, and it'll go through a little diagnostic screen here. Okay. And this can also probably help you reconnect to a server. Okay, let me show you the start page look. That's the uh, start page look. You can create a, a speed dial here. You can add more pages you want here. Okay. And plus in settings here, you have... Uh, data saving features which you can click on this and oh here okay. you can uh, make your tweaks with the uh, data savings here adjusting whatever you want cellular uh, but I have on my optimize you can go to default optimize or you can customize here where you can tweak it all yourself here you can make adjustments yourself but I just have it on optimize and you can click if you want to uh, only customize you can click on flash on demand if you want to and you can set your home page here open a new tab with start page here and you can change the color theme here if you want to go red, it changed to red. You can change it whatever color you want here. And you can change your search engines. You have a choice between Bing, Google, and Yahoo. And you can set this to request a desktop site or a young checker, you can get an Android site. And you can block pop up windows and quick controls I believe you can you can turn it on and off there may be the quick controls that may be um, controls like up here or somewhere I haven't fully checked those out but you can play with it and find out what it does and you can change the download destination here you can either go or uh, save to this device, prompt, the Dropbox, or Google Drive. You can set it either. I'll say I mine set on prompt to prompt me where I want to download stuff. And you can change display here, some aspects of the display, and your privacy settings here. And this is the version, version settings here. And also it has the history of wherever you uh, browse and check it out. Uh, things you browsed days ago. You can find it here. And you can delete all your browser history. And pretty much it. Let's see. Let me type in and see if how fast it loads the page. It loads pretty fast. Of course, I have it on Wi-Fi, so that might help too. Let me uh, check here on. Let me see how fast it loads on data. Okay, let's go to another site. Loads quickly on data. Yep. 
this. Yeah. It loads fast. This is a nice browser. It, uh, it's uh, I've been using it in, in the place of my Chrome browser. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna be my new. Uh, I've been using it for a week or two, but this is gonna be my browser for now on. This browser is called the Puffin Browser. It's available in the uh, Google Play Store now. It's uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was in beta. I'm not sure, but it don't seem like beta to me. It does has it does have problems, but it the problems uh, it don't have enough problems for me to stop using it. I love it uh, very much, and I, like I said, I've been using it for a, a week or two, and I, and it's uh, just as fast as as other browsers. And this, I think it's right up there with Chrome, Firefox, and uh, Dolphin browser, whatever browsers you use, even Opera. But it's a one of the browsers that's out there. is uh, It's in the Google Play Store, and you can uh, try it out and see if you like it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and also check out my uh, giveaway information after this video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.